You're welcome back. It's still the breakfast on uh, Plus TV Africa. And uh, we are now going to talk about uh, something really important. And now that subsidy has been removed on premium motor spirit, PMS or petrol as they call it, there is this jostle for uh, right pricing of electricity also. And this may have triggered a major shift in the pattern of energy consumption with about 75% of households now exploring solar as the alternative sources of energy. Uh, there was a survey, a multidimensional survey, conducted to assess Nigerians' response to almost 200% increase in the pump price of PMS, and it revealed that the majority of households are planning to embrace solar energy, even as service providers are contending with a surge in request for low-capacity utilization equipment. Today, uh, we want to look at this, if there's going to be a possibility in the first place. We know that we have a lot of sun, so the, the, the source of this solar energy is not a problem. But how do you get it to your house? Well, we have, uh, we have a public affairs analyst that has just joined us. Wisdom Chap Chumbo is uh, here with us. Wisdom, good morning and welcome to the program. Yes, good morning. Thank you for having me. Can hear me clearly. Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Um, well, like I said, there's a lot of sun. You, you know, some people say if you put a, a, an egg in your car and you, you wind up and leave it in the sun, when you come back, the egg is cooked, probably. Well, it, it's that good or that bad, depending on where you stand. But this thing about yep. alternative sources of energy, uh, using solar, um, solar energy, is, is, it, is it possible in our country? Nigeria, given the economic situation and everything around it, do you think that is a possibility in the nearest future, or if not now? Well, th thanks for that. The truth is, um, at the moment now, uh, with what is currently happening, if you want peace of mind, um, the best option now for you to solve your power problem is to actually switch to solar. Uh, I mean, we have sun in abundance uh, in Nigeria, and I don't see any reason why uh, this should not be an option for us. Even in, 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 in countries where they barely see sunlight, uh, I mean, they are harnessing solar energy, uh, I mean, uh, in, in, in a very amazing way. So I don't see why Nigeria, uh, with what we are going through, we shouldn't uh, be able to do the same. So, but truthfully, uh, we have no other option now. Uh, with, the, with the cost of fuel going above 200% at the moment, um, if you use a generator in your house now, I mean, you are a very big man. You are a big man. And, and I mean, the, the, the people in the last mile cannot afford it at this point. But the sun is free. The sun is free. You don't pay for the sun. As long as there is sun, uh, with solar energy, you're going to have power. So why, why not? Why not? So I think it's very doable. It's very possible. Um, already the, the, the Electricity Act um, signed by President uh, Tinubu, I mean, like I shared in the earlier episode of the show, uh, a, a chapter was dedicated to renewable energy. It means we are beginning to get serious, to leverage sources like solar, wind, uh, high, hydrogen, and the rest of them, uh, to see how we can have alternative sources of energy. But trust me, if you want to have peace of mind now, and if you really want to reduce your costs of, of power, I mean, to use funds for other things in the house, you I mean, you have to switch to solar. You really don't have an option. And yeah, but, but every, everybody wants the peace of mind. But uh, can your pocket give you the peace of mind that you want? That's the question now. Because getting solar panels, getting the inverters, getting whatever you need to get, how, how affordable are these things right now? And if they are not so affordable, is it a problem of the people or the government? What needs to be done? Because it doesn't seem affordable. Otherwise, everybody will switch over. Well, I, I mean, I, I disagree with you. I mean, um, um, in a way, look, we, we've had this thing for so long. And it's, it's, it's a myth that needs to be demystified. Mm. Uh, look, solar, and I'll tell you practically, uh, the cost of solar... Uh, or the cost of, or, or you want to incur using solar depends on what you want to power. So a, a woman in a rural community who only has some, some lighting points and just needs to charge her phone, you know, she doesn't need to spend a million naira on solar. Mm. So depending on what you want to power, uh, will now affect the cost of what you're going to 
spend for the, for the power. And be it as may, even if you spend up to a million naira to, to set up your solar uh, uh, energy system now for your house, look, your panel, solar panels will last you for 20 years. Your batteries, if you get the best of them, will, will last you for seven years. The cost of fuel in the last seven years, I mean, we, 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 have, we have gone up more than four, five, six, ten times. But you see, when you acquire this solar, I mean, in the, le in the next seven years, five years, you're still using the same energy, a solar, solar energy system, and, and your cost hasn't even gone up. So, so I mean, the, the, the economics is pretty clear. For example, let, let, let's do this calculation so you know how clear it is. Um, if you, if, I don't know how much you, you spend on fuel a day for those who use a generator, multiply that amount by 365 days, as so must multiply it by one year, and look at the cost. So, if if you spend one one billion naira, for example, to 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 acquire a solar, let's see, that's in one million naira to buy fuel. So break that amount down, um, spread it across twelve months, and let's say you are paying for it. Um, I mean, um, um, for a day. So let's say you spend about nine or four thousand. I don't know how much you spend in a day. Multiply it. Now you see that the, what you spend for this year for your generator set is going to be different from next year. So it might double that cost. But if you spend that one million dollars to set up your solar home system for your home, uh, uh, the next year, you're not spending that same cost. Yeah, but we stop. You, you, see the, the, you see the difference between that yeah. uh, and what I'm saying is that, okay, mm -hmm. granted, you might even spend two million on, on yes. electricity, on power in one year, and yes. Um, yes. solar will give you the opportunity to spend maybe just one million naira. But how many people in yes. Nigeria who want to switch over to solar energy can afford one million naira at a go? It's the same problem like, you know, mm. having um, house rent to pay that the government was trying to uh, do the other time and say pay monthly because mm. some people cannot afford the bulk sum at the same time. So it's the same problem of bulk funds. So if these bulk funds were will, there, a lot of people would do it. But can we? Okay, so I, I, will tell you, I will tell you what players are doing in the sector. Look, they are financing options. You mm. don't have to pay upfront for these things. Good. That's information we need options. to know. Uh, yeah. yeah, so some, some companies do pay as you go. Uh, some companies do uh, uh, um, um, lease payment. Some companies do, I mean, outright payment. It depends on what, uh, what, you, want, what you want. So look, and, and there are solar home systems that even cost as low as 30000 naira. 35,000 naira that can charge your phone. I mean, charge some lighting point in your house. I mean, you don't need to get any big. There are systems as low as 200,000 naira, 300,000 naira that you can buy that can power your laptop, your TV, depending on what you do. But the point is, uh, I mean, what is in the, sec in the system now is, which a lot of companies are doing, is uh, they are giving financing options. Yeah. And a lot of institutions are already supporting. I mean, I mean these financing uh, um, methods for many companies, mm. and to make sure it gets to the to the to the customer. So you you really cannot like the system I got um, from my own house. I mean, I, I didn't pay upfront. I didn't pay everything at a go. You know, the payment was spread across a period of time. So I paid in installments. You know, and at the end of the day, the system is mine today. And, uh, I mean, I don't have to go back again to begin to buy. I mean, I don't, I, I've not used generator in my house for the longest of time. You know, so the point I'm trying to make is there are financing options. In Nigeria, this whole mentality of we need to buy everything that they go, we have to take it easy with us. In other similar climbs, people buy things using mortgage, uh, buy, buy things in installments. I mean, I mean, in Africa, we want to buy everything outrightly all the time. When wait, we don't have the wait, 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 let's get, let's get it uh, right. Is it that we want to buy everything outrightly or we want to sell everything outrightly? Because this, this thing you're saying, I'm not sure it's to the people. If you have a system where, like we say, pay small, small, it's acceptable, a lot of people will jump on it and do what they need to do. But the people yeah. who are selling, how many of them are ready to accept this? So you really it, it, should be talking to them, not yeah. us. So it's everywhere. Is every, I mean, if you're if you're in the in the in the clean energy business or solar energy business, and and you you don't have financing options now, I mean, then I don't see I don't see what you're doing there. So a lot of the companies I know who are selling some of these products, 
Um, they always have the financing option. It's available everywhere. Mm. You, you don't have to pay upfront for everything. And these companies understand this because if you are waiting for, um, 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 the, I mean, an ordinary Nigerian or the customers to be able to raise this money upfront, I mean, then they will not be able to meet up uh, to do that. Looking mm. at the economic challenges we have, so these companies understand this. These mm. companies, understand. so they, they they are financing options spread across. You pay in installments for a system you want. And I mean, me for one, I, I have been connecting a few of these um, uh, customers to the companies. I mean, it's what I do. Uh, uh, so, and I know that they are financing uh, options for them and they have been leveraging this. So the point you are making, and let us get it clear, first of all, is solar works. Mm -hmm. Solar is the best alternative mm -hmm. and options we, and we have too, now. Yes. Um, solar is what we push in the effect um, of what the, we are feeling now, um, uh, economic-wise, for a lot of people. And solar also is a cleaner option for our environment. We need to begin to keep the environment clean. It's renewable. And so it is the best fit to keep the environment clean for us now at this time. Those gen sets have not been helping us. We are facing a lot of climate uh, issues, environmental issues. Those gen set pollute police the environment. So it is not helping us, but solar is a cleaner option and best alternative at this point. If the issue is affordability, I mean, there are affordable options that can work for every single person. Okay. It's, it's good you information. Know, you, it's good information yes. that you put out there that they there, there's a, a plan, there's a financing plan for a lot of companies They give this. Uh, but um, you said one section of this electricity bill was dedicated to uh, renewable energy and all that. Uh, but what specific policy would you want to see from the present administration, for instance, that will uh, give people the leverage, will, that will give people this opportunity to access this solar energy so much? I hear... NNPCL has said that they are that they're, they're thinking about putting some charging points for electric cars in their filling stations and all that. Okay, that is a welcome thing. That is government doing something. But what particular policy do you think will drive the process of people acquiring this solar energy, this renewable energy that we so desire in Nigeria? I mean, the, what the federal government can do is really make available incentives. Uh, I mean. Some of these solar products, uh, because we are we have not been able to at the time now produce a lot of it in country uh, uh, or manufacture a lot of it in country, they are mostly imported. And what is really increasing the cost? Uh, um, uh, I mean, for some of these companies in this product into the country. So I think what federal government can do is uh, um, uh, policies that that I mean that drive a lot of incentives for these com companies tax incentives, I mean, impact incentives. Uh, I mean, it should not take um, a hula balloon to clear uh, um, my my solar products um, at, the, at the ports. Uh, and then in the long run, federal government should, should, should work around how do we begin to manufacture some of these things. Because when we produce these things in country, when we are able to have a lot of solar manufacturing factories, a lot of solar assembly factories in country, we are going to reduce the cost. So if the solar panels are produced in country, if the batteries, uh, the components, the charge controllers, and all those things that uh, uh, make up the, the, the solar components, uh, solar power components, if they are manufactured that produced in country, we will drive down that cost more than nearly 50% uh, uh, for, the, for the customers themselves. So a lot of policies I want to see, and, and which I see that, uh, the new electricity act. I mean, a, a bit of it is driving that policy-wise, uh, championing a lot of renewable energy um, a mix in our power and our electricity um, um, components and all of that. So, I mean, I look forward to state governments as they implement uh, the electricity act um, in their various states. I want to see how they are supporting um, renewable energy sources, especially solar, uh, to in the energy mix in their various states. You see how they can build many grids, you know, and all of that. That can also uh, reduce uh, the the weight on, on the grid, uh, which is causing the issues now. And also part of that act, uh, you will see uh, a lot of companies now we even send power to the grid, which we currently uh, do not have uh, with the old law from 2005. So the thing is, what federal government really can do uh, in collaboration with the state government? This is this is going to the um, National Economic Council, chaired by the Vice President, to see. I mean, in collaboration with the state governors, 
how can we begin to create incentives for companies that work within, I mean, the solar space, renewable energy space? Mm. I mean, there's a lot we can do with uh, waste or energy uh, also. So how, what kind of incentive do we need to put into there and, uh, I mean, to give these companies some, some, some leverage to work on? And believe you me, manufacturing in country is at the, at the core of all of these things that can happen uh, for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If we are able to produce these things in country, yeah. if we have five, six, seven um, solar by manufacturing plants, assembly plants in country, where we make the solar panels, where we make the batteries, where we make charge controllers, and all the companies that make up the solar system, I mean, then why will it be expensive? We we'll drive down the cost in the long run. And okay. I mean, and that's the way to go. I'm hoping uh, that will be some of the things we'll see with this new president administration. Okay, thank you so much, Wisdom, uh, for uh, that. I'm sure a lot of people will be looking for you to connect them to these uh, companies that will give them a plan that will make them uh, own uh, solar energy. Thank you for your time on the show this morning. Thank you so much. Okay, that was Wisdom Chap Jumbo, a public affairs analyst, talking to us about alternative energy, and we zeroed in on solar energy. As we wrap up the show, let me just uh, remind you this, or leave you with this quote. One machine can do the work of 50 ordinary men. No machine can do the work of one extraordinary man. That is according to Albert Hubbard. I hope you remember that as you go about your duties today. My name is Nyamgul Aggaji, and on behalf of the entire crew of Breakfast on Plus TV, I say have a wonderful day. Bye.